Number 11. How does a homogeneous mixture differ from a pure substance and how are they similar? Okay, so the first thing that I see here is pure substance. So we have to compare pure substance to a homogeneous mixture. So just know that a pure substance can either be one of two things. They can be individual elements or compounds. So basically now we're just comparing how mixtures are different from either elements or compounds and how they're similar. So first let's talk about how they're similar. I think that'll be easier and then we'll go into the differences. So no matter what, if you're talking about mixtures, elements, and compounds, oh gosh, <laughs> elements are compounds, which collectively make up pure substances. So it does not matter if you're talking about mixtures or pure substances, just know that each one of these has a mass. It takes up space, right? Whether I'm talking about an individual element. So for example, any symbol on the periodic table is an element. So fluorine, which is F, chlorine, which is Cl, or a combination of two elements or more can turn into a compound. So table salt, which is NaCl, a combination of sodium and chlorine, and versus a mixture. So this would be like salt water. When you take two compounds and you push them together, those are mixtures. So it doesn't matter whether you're talking about mixtures or pure substances, all of them will have matter because all of them has a finite or a definite mass. So that's the similarity. So they all have matter. They all take up space. They have a definite or a finite amount of mass to them. So that's what makes them similar. One other similarity, because they specifically said homogeneous mixture. So just know the homogeneous one is when you only see the mixture as one unit, one color, technically. You cannot tell the difference between the two different um, compounds that are in there. So if you look at salt water, you can't really see where the actual salt is and you can't see where it is in the water. So that would be a homogeneous mixture. So another similarity would be that for both homogeneous mixtures and for elements and compounds, you have basically like the same single unit of color, right? If you look at sodium chloride, which is table salt, it looks white as opposed to any homogeneous mixture. Uh, soft drinks would be an example. They all have one single color. So these three things now, they all have matter, they all have a mass, and they're the same unit of color, one single unit of color. Those are your similarities. Now I'm just going to list the differences. The differences is basically the composition. So I'll put over here differences. So the differences between a homogeneous mixture and a pure substance is for pure substances, you have a standard chemical composition versus a homogeneous mixture or any mixture in that matter, you have a variable, which means different variable. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I love when that happens. Um, variable chemical composition. What does that mean? That if I look at, we'll go back to the table salt here. If I look at table salt, which is a pure substance, NaCl, it will look white, right? Every single time. You know, except for those Himalayan sea salts and whatnot. But table salt, NaCl, is white all the time. So that's a standard composition. However, if I talk about a homogeneous mixture, let's just think of milk and coffee. 
the physical composition that you see differs depending on how much milk you put in. If you like a little bit of milk, the coffee is going to have like a dark brown color. But if you put a lot of milk in there, the coffee is going to have a light brown color. That's the difference in variable of the composition. Um, and one other one that I want to put over here, which is another difference, is just know that mixtures can be separated by physical means, so physical experimentation. However, elements and compounds, or pure substances, I'll just say PS here, they cannot be separated by physical properties. They could either be separated by nothing at all, the elements, or separated only by chemical uh, experiments. So just to recap, similarities between homogeneous mixtures or pure substances is they all have matter, they all have a mass, and they're all that same color because they said homogeneous mixture. Differences is pure substances will always have a standard chemical composition. Mixtures, however, are variable depending on the percentage of the two compounds that are in there. And another difference is that mixtures can be separated by physical means, but uh, pure substances can only be separated by chemical means the compounds. Elements cannot be separated at all. It's the most fundamental unit. All right, guys. Hope this helped. Thanks for tuning in. If it didn't, click that subscribe button because we will be putting out tons more questions for your guys, uh, for you guys. <laughs> and I'll see you all in the next, in the next question. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.